So we're heading out to uh, Newcastle, Texas to see uh, Fort Belknap. We actually did this ride uh, last year with some friends of ours, Steve and Angie. It was a really great ride, great roads. Uh, but when we got to Fort Belknap, unfortunately, we got there too late and the museum was already closed. And we wanted to really go see the museum and all the uh, uh, you know, Civil War and fort artifacts that they found out there. Um, there's also supposed to be some uh, well-known or great hamburger place called the Hole in the Wall that uh, we want to visit as well. And that will be a good ride. So we'll get some clips as we go and then some more of uh, Fort Belknap when we get there. Oh, i got a big group of riders coming. Who knows what they're with? Uh oh, Margaret's worried about chips on her bike. Nope. It was like bird crap or something. <laughs> All right, we're a little highway ride today. Just change it up a little bit. We'll get back out on the uh, back roads here in a little bit. All right, now we're on. Texas 16, heading into Strong, Texas. We're in Strong, Texas now on 16, going past uh, Mary's Cafe. Mary's Cafe actually used to be a great destination to come eat at, but uh, we've had some horrible, horrible experiences in the recent past, and uh, we just refuse to eat at Mary's anymore. I don't care what kind of a destination it is or what people say about it, it's crap. Right, we're going to be turning on FM 207. It's a beautiful road. All right, FM 207, about 20 miles like this. I just love roads like this. We'll go ahead for the museum right now, park, and then we'll come back and visit all these different buildings. The Doctor, 1841, six pound field gun. Uh, it's been taken off display. We think it's sat over there on the trailer. This is the Fort Belknap Well, built in 1857. All right, guys, so we're in a museum. This is what we came to see. Pretty exciting. A lot of museum pieces out here. So those are arrowheads up there. And those are uh, rattlesnake rattlers. This is an old bee smoker. It's kind of cool to us because we, uh, we raise bees and uh, they haven't changed. Those are military buttons found on the grounds of Fort Belknap. Here you got rifles. It's 
some revolvers. All right, so the museum that we just came out of used to be the uh, commissary store um, from 1852 to 1936. Here's one of the old cannons. Something to mention we just found out also from the museum is Belknap Road in Fort Worth, which is kind of kind of around where we live, was actual the actual road that they built to link the uh, the two forts. When this fort was uh, completed, they decommissioned Fort Worth, but that was the road that uh, linked them. All right, this is one of the old old buildings. It says it was a corn house in 1853 and a women's building in 1954. These are, we think they're grapes, and they cover this huge area of uh, picnic tables that they've put, and it's nothing but just grape vines covering this whole area. This is, this is extraordinary, actually. That's a humongous, humongous grapevine. This is extraordinary. So this is the old powder magazine, 1852. Quick history of this. Um, this is one of the frontier posts placed by the federal government along a line from the Red River to the Rio Grande to guard settlers from Indians soon after Texas joined the Union. So these buildings were the infantry quarters. This is infantry quarters number one uh, from 1853. And then there's more. They didn't have the air conditioner back then. They're using them as classrooms now. Then there's another one over there. All right, so that was Fort Belknap. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, just a short overview about what's out here. So it makes a great ride destination if you're in North Texas. Uh, we're gonna go up to a Newcastle now and eat at the uh, Hole in the Wall Cafe, which is uh, made, I think, some Texas restaurant tour magazine best uh, Hole in the Wall cafe that you don't want to miss in Texas. Okay, so just down the road in a Newcastle, we got the uh, hole in the wall, home of the uh, hog burger. Uh, my God, it was pretty damn good. It was actually, I'd say one of the best burgers that I've ever had in my life. And we got a couple places in Fort Worth that, uh, in Crowley, Texas that are good, but I'm not sure they come close to what this place has to offer. So if you're ever, ever out riding around in North Texas and come up to a Fort Belknap area or Newcastle, Texas, be sure and stop at the hole in the wall. Uh, it's definitely worth the stop.